Hi! Today I'm going to spend a few minutes giving a short summary of DirectML, the hardware accelerated machine learning platform on Windows. If you're watching this talk on a Windows 10 PC, chances are you already have DirectML in your computer. So let's dive in. Slide 2. DirectML is a hardware accelerated compute API for deep learning on Windows. Windows is a very diverse ecosystem of over a billion devices now running Windows 10, with literally hundreds of different graphics chipsets and thousands of different driver versions from the hardware vendors across the industry. It is fundamentally challenging to build an API that could scale across this broad variety of hardware, from a compute stick, a laptop, to a power workstation and server. The goal of DirectML is to provide best performance by leveraging the latest hardware features in modern PC, while providing an implementation that works reliably in all different hardware platforms, old and new. We put together a robust conformance test and driver certification process to ensure a high degree of consistency, so a model works the same way on any Windows PC. We know that our customers value high performance. That's how they get the benefit of their hardware purchase. But equally important, they also value correctness and consistency of result, regardless of the hardware platform they're running it on. Say if a model would predict that what you're holding in your hand it is a banana. It shouldn't matter if you run it on a powerful workstation or on your daughter's laptop PC. A banana is banana anywhere. That integrity of result is very important to us because you could have a model that, for instance, predicts the development of breast cancer cells. So being reliable is truly mission critical. Slide 3. Let's take a closer look at DirectML and see what it's made of. DirectML is a computational graph of neural network operations. It's designed to be fully compatible with DirectX 12 and to sit on top of the Microsoft Compute Driver model. Developers who are familiar with DirectX 12 should feel right at home with DirectML. The resource model, the synchronization between the CPU and GPU are just native DirectX primitives. It implements all the comp compute kernels as HLSL compute shaders. This means that DirectML can work on any PC that supports direct compute, which in practice is any Windows 10 PC in the market today. The Microsoft Compute Device Model is the underlying contract that any compute device on Windows implements. This includes, of course, any Windows GPU but also of all other AI accelerators supporting it. It allows developers to leverage different hardware architectures through the same API. On the performance side, DirectML opportunistically use shader models intrinsics exposed in the driver uh, model to tap into native hardware compute instructions for performance critical computations. Additionally, it supports architecture-specific machine learning operations for performance-critical operations such as metrics multiply or convolution through the system-level contract known as meta commands. Slide 4. DirectML is used as the GPU backend for the Windows ML API to accelerate Onyx operations on the GPU. Windows ML is an easy-to-use model loader API that supports many major apps on Windows today. The open-source Onyx Runtime C API makes DirectML functionality available to developers building for a cross-platform solution. DirectML itself is available as a standalone API in the DirectX API family for the most demanding scenarios where frame over frame performance is critical, such as in real time or gaming scenarios. Slide 5. 
DirectML is also used to accelerate training of machine learning models with TensorFlow. A new GPU-accelerated device runtime in TensorFlow is built on top of DirectML to extend the TensorFlow's GPU support to any Windows GPU from all the GPU vendors across the Windows ecosystem. We have launched the developer preview last month. It is available now for download from PyPy with the support of both the Linux and Windows build. The Linux build can be used within the Windows subsystem for Linux or WSL. We are actively working on open sourcing this project to the public in the coming weeks to increase our touch points with our community. So stay tuned. Slide 6. I have a few demos that should help illustrate the performance of DirectML in some important customer scenarios. For the best viewing experience, since all of these demos are visual, you may want to enlarge the video window size to full screen by clicking the full screen icon at the bottom of this clip. Every one of these demos is publicly available. I will provide the links at the end of this slide so you can check them out separately. Our first demo today is a system developed at GE Healthcare called Sono CNS. This program runs a Windows ML model that automatically measures key matrices of fetal brains from the ultrasound images for early diagnosis of the fetus health. The analysis is done using a computer vision model with convolution networks that identify key features in the, in the images. Slide 7. Our next demo is in Creative Content Scenario. It's a new AI feature in Adobe Premiere Pro called Auto Reframe. This feature used machine learning models to analyze the video frames and automatically crop each frame to a different aspect ratio by centering the frames around the movement of the main subject in the footage. This demo was given on a live stage running on a laptop PC. As you can see, it only takes about a second to analyze over 200 frames of an approximately 10 second video footage. That performance with DirectML even on a laptop GPU is very impressive. Slide 8. Our next demo is one of our DirectML's public samples in GitHub called the Super Resolution Demo. This is one of the high frame rate scenarios where the performance budget for each model inference call is extremely small. Each frame update of a game rendering loop runs a model that does an automatic upsample of the display content on the fly. This allows a title game, which normally requires huge graphics asset to render the content at 4K, to use a lower resolution variant of the asset while still preserving the visual quality on the screen. In this sample, each inference has only between 4 to 8 milliseconds to complete or risking rendering glitch or drop frames. So the performance of the ML stack is absolutely critical here. Slide 9. Our next demo shows the latest version of the famous object detection model YOLO V4. Here, the model analyzes each video frame to identify areas of interest. YOLO is one of the more complex convolution networks with a significant compute workload. Slide 10. And last but not least, this is another one of our public samples called Stroud Transfer. This is a fun, day, uh, a fun model that applies a previously trained artistic style to the input video frames to create an interesting visual effect. I hope you enjoyed these demos and this chart presentation. I'm leaving all the links on the next slide for your references. 
Thank you very much.